So today we're going to talk about Jean Piaget, a presentation done by me, Katrin. Hi! You may be wondering just exactly who was Jean Piaget. Let me tell you, he was a cognitive theorist in the 20th century, and he carried out research on how our brains develop, mostly during childhood. He believed that there are four stages of development that every person will go through in their lifetime before adulthood, all in the same order. The first stage is sensory motor, where we learn that everything exists and has mass. The second stage is pre-operational, where we learn to cultivate mental images. The third stage is concrete operational, where logic is formed. The fourth and final stage is formal operation, where our thinking becomes broader. He figured all of this out by watching the world around him, mostly his own children. He figured out that everyone has their own cognitive needs based off their schema. Each one of those four stages has a very different level of understanding. You might be wondering how we can quantify this comprehension level. That's a really good question. Do you remember how I mentioned schema? Well, those are the building blocks of our knowledge. It could be a sequence, like how to ride a bike, or something complex like knitting. It's like our brain's index cards. Our schema will grow in number with experience and with time. So why don't we get into how we can gain schema? It's collected through a process of assimilation, accommodation, and equilibration. Assimilation is where your existing schema face new information and then rationalize it. Accommodation is when new information changes your understanding and you reformat your thoughts. They work in tandem. Equilibration is the balance between the two, accepting that new reality and making it your new basis. Still a little fuzzy? Let's take a deeper look. Now, these schemata, plural of schema, are tools that we use to understand the world around us. They become more complicated the older we get, the more we build on the original schemata. A great example is how babies don't possess the speaking schema. They assimilate, then accommodate the sounds, and learn how to speak. Some believe that Piaget underestimated children and wasn't individualistic enough, but it's a great starting point for us in interacting with those around us. Here are my sources.